the ideal business and innovation program for you as a young man or woman looking to make money through your ideas, innovation, talent and passion. Join me, Nurisud, every Thursday at 10 a.m. on this unmatched show to better understand these opportunities only on Al Shifa TV. How I got here with Nurisud. Mambo vipi watu wangu na kama kawaida kipindi ni kile kile How I Got Here Show with Nuri Sud. Na leo tuko pale Makadara Street, Kamis Apple Experience. Takuwa tunaingia pale ndani tujue inside Kamis. What is happening, how is it going and everything. So come with us. Salim Bajber. Salim Bajber. Naam. Na hapa tuko wapi? Hapa tuko kwenye duka ya Makanzu. Naam. Kwa maarufu inaitwa Kamis. Uh, Kamis. Yeah. A thorb experience yeah. I see. I see very nice stuff. Anyway, as Naam. we begin with this, Naam. maybe utupatie a brief of uh, who is uh, who is Kamis Thorb. Okay, Kamis Thorb actually ni eh uh, watu ambao tumekaa chini no. tuka tukaamua kulifanya jambo kama hili so that iwe lije kwa muonekano tofauti no. naweza sema ya kwa sababu kumekuwa na biashara kama hizi lakini tumebobea paka kuliita athob experience that means tuje na muonekano mwanzo tofauti second thing iwe unique Third thing, iwe ni quality ambao kila mtu atafurahiki okay no. so what is the uniqueness Yo kizungumzia kwa mwataka kwa tofauti your your goal was to be tofauti. Naam. Hii tofauti yenu ni nini? Tofauti unaweza kuwa kwa hali tofauti kwa sababu hali nyingi kwa sababu kuna quality uh, standard of the product right. kwa sababu kama kanzu inaweza kuwa labda zinauzwa same tofauti tofauti right. lakini mpaka kwetu sisi hapa tukaamua kuweka vitu ambazo yule mteja anaoingia hapa okay. afeel kuwa asiweze kwenda mahali ingine right. ama asiweze kutoka kuwa hapa amefikia mahali ambapo atapata kile anachokihitaji okay that's Naam. nice are you the ceo of this business actually yeah, I'm one of the CEO. Okay. Siko peke yangu okay. is like a joint anini tuko pamoja okay. kama partnership so, na partnership. kwa sababu katika jambo kama hili lazima upate ideas tofauti tofauti right. so that mfanye kitu ambacho cha kisasa sawa okay na. lakini uh, apart from you guys being in partnership yeah. wewe ni one of the main people yeah. who are huko madukani yeah. washughulika sana and na. even from the instagram that's what na. i can see na. so na. wewe kama salim bajaber bajber bajber okay bajber sorry sorry bajber so you've had your education background of course ume shule umefikia kiwango gani Mimi kusema la kweli nimemaliza form 4 nikajiunga katika colleges yeah all right na. okay so he idea how did it come up because i can see you're not wearing a kanzu today na. if you was wearing one then na. i would tell maybe it is um, something that you enjoy na. doing kusema la kweli i really enjoy to wear a kanzu right. lakini nimekuwa ni nikiva kanzu siku zote uh huwa -huh. pia natamani huwa kuvaa Sengine, kanzu, mbazo, yes, yeah. yes. But wasema kanzu ni katika mavazi yako wewe unayokaa. Kanzu mimi especially kama hapa mimi ni mahali ambapo katika kazi yangu naweza kuvaa kanzu kila siku. Naam. Lakini kitu chochote ambacho hukifanyi huo unakitamani. Ndio mm -hmm. kwa, kwa kwa wewe umekuja hapa umenipata mimi nimevaa kitu ambacho si kanzu lakini pia najifurahikia. Najifurahikia. Yeah, that's nice. All right. Um, what I want to ask you is, um, the, this is my main question. Mm -hmm. How did this idea, maybe your journey, yeah. your, your business journey, yeah. penyo ulianzi, pahali ulipuanzia, yeah. mpaka sasa ambapo wakumafikia? Yeah. Yeah. Ilianzaji anzaji? Kusema la kweli, si kwa kanzu tu. Yeah. Mimi nezasema kila na chokifanya, napenda kukachini, kufanya utafiti wangu, so that kile kitu na chokifanya, japo ni kidogo, yeah. ni kifanya vile na mustahili kufanyika. Yeah, yeah. Na 
So nikaka chini nikasema kuna haja Na. ya mimi kufungua duka kwa sababu kama wanawake huwa katika sherehe zao za harusi ama eh, pati zao huwa wanakwenda kusetiwa mm. kwa wanawake kwele, ambapo kwa wanaume nilikuwa linakosekana kwa, kwa muda mrefu yeah. ambapo hata mababu zetu mababa zetu Na. hakuna jambo kama hili lilotokea kwa kama bwana harusi mtu waende right. apate kusetiwa so na. that awe na muonekano mzuri katika harusi yake oh, okay okay sir um, before you started i mean your journey of hustling na. ilipoanza kuanza hustle yako wewe mwenye yani na. ile siku ilipoanza kuanza ku hustle ulianzia wapi mpaka sasa kufikia kusema kweli yeah. mwanzo katika kitu chote huwa ni mgumu mm-hmm. na mimi na wa, na wapashukrani sana mafanzo wangu ambao waloniamini kuwa hili jambo naweza kulitoa kutoka kwa gurudumu no. kulisogeza mbele right. lakini kuna pia baadhi za watu ambao waliona maybe katika jani yangu maybe huenda ikawa sitofaulu ambapo ni katika kila biashara ama kila kazi ama kila jambo unalofanya mm-hmm. kuna watu ambao watakusupport na kuna watu ambao hawatakusupport lakini hilo halikuwa ni naweza kuambia ni challenge kwangu kwa sababu ndani ya roho yangu ama nimeona kwa kama sali hmm. mimi naweza hili jambo kunifanya yeah. you believed in yourself yes, yes. so you're trying to say you, you should also believe in yourself in everything that you're trying kabisa, to do yeah kabisa. okay um, if you don't mind me asking maybe uh-huh. mizigo yako unatoa wapi mizigo yako ah uh, mizigo natoa kwenye nchi za uarabuni mbali mbali right. natoa kutoka dubai Right. natoka kutoka natoka kutoka Saudi mm-hmm. natoa kutoka Oman no. kama nilivyokuambia kumekaliwa chini no. kukaa kuona mtu akiingia kama mteja Ndiyo. hapa atapata kila kitu kwa mahali pamoja for example say, yeah. kama wewe unataka kanzo ya Kiomani ya Kiimarati na Kisaudi right. ni la, yafaa uende katika nchi tatu no. lakini ukiingia Kamis unapata katika hapa Kamis unapata mahali kote so, eh wame wazipata pale pamoja yes. so umewafanyia uraisi yes. and everything which yes. is nice no. um, your instagram you're doing so well mashallah yeah shukra, i like what sana. i'm seeing shukra you work sana. with a lot of grooms mashallah kuwafanya wanapendeza and everything ile kazi ya kuwafunga ile vilemba no. na kuwavalisha ile nguo za no. wewe ndio unafanya ile kazi ama una watu wako eh uh, wajua katika shughuli zetu no. kila mtu amebobea katika kazi yake katika kazi yake no. lakini ukifikia ya kwangu mm-hmm. mimi ndo nakutarishia kuanzia mwanzo mpaka mwisho like good example like kama wedding planner yeah. hauwezi kupata ule wedding planner ni yeye anaotengeneza ile stage mm. ni yeye anaweka mata yeye ndo mwenye kupiga picha lakini yes lakini yeah. sasa mimi niko na mimi na timu yangu yeah. ambao tunahakikisha katika wedding yako yeah. ama katika matarisho yako ya siku yote ya sherehe right inakuwa kila kitu kiko perfect. Kiko perfect. Naam. Anyway, kama mfanye biashara yoyote katika Naam. biashara huwa lazima kuna zile challenges ambazo zinakuface. Wewe kama kamisa top experience unasema unaweza sema ni challenge gani ambazo zinakumba hapa? Challenge time, yeah. challenge naweza sema challenges ziko nyingi uh-huh. eh, lakini sisi kama wanabiashara zile challenges unafaa kuzipitia lakini yule mteja wako asipate kujua zile challenges ambao wewe wapitia. Na. Challenges ambao zapitia ambao mteja anafaa pia kujua ni kama for example lese kama dola zimepanda. Mm. E, kama price za kanzo zinabadilika. Yeah, exactly. Sasa unakuwa wewe kama mwanabiashara mm. unafaa uwe na muonekano tofauti kwa sababu ni lazima kwa yule mteja right. ambao anayonunua mm-hmm. pia usimuumize sana usimuumize. na wewe mwenyewe pia usijiumize sana yeah. kulingana kwenye kazi lazima upate faida kweli yeah. sasa huwezi kusema ati wewe ujiumize ati mteja tu afurahi wakati wewe unajiumiza mm. na pia huwezi kusema mteja aumie akinunua kazi moja asirudi tena kununua kazi ya pili mm-hmm. okay. so hapo ni challenge kubwa ambao sisi kama wanabiashara tunapata yeah wateja wetu yes all right ah uh, hiyo ni challenge ambayo nimesikia sana kwa no. wafanyabiashara no. to do with pricing eh? yes. so how do you tackle that kuna vitu kama patience pia unaweza kuambia maana yake like uh, sisi ambapo tunataka kuwaeleza watu no. ni ile yani kuna vitu ambavyo utaface katika kila biashara ukitaka kuanzisha no. haitakuwa simple ama haitakuwa yes. smooth yes. kuna vitu utaface 
So yeah. how are you going to tackle these challenges? Maybe it's a kwambia bitu kama patients yeah. or stuff like that. How do you ch- uh, tackle your challenges? When you are kama for example let's say ukiwa unafanya kazi mahali ngine na kila mahali kokote si kama speke yake yule mteja ambao anaoingia kwako kuna kuna watu tofauti hata wewe ukisoma skuli unapata katika ile classroom kila mtu akuna tabia zake tofauti sasa wewe hapa unakuwa si mwanabiashara tu wewe ni mwanabiashara plus zile tabia zako ni upate kulinganisha watu wote wanaokuja kwa tabia tofauti kwa no, wewe uwe na subra yeah. na ujue ku deal nao yes nao. Oh, okay okay you recently um, um uh, branched in Nairobi yes. i saw that on your instagram yes. so congratulations thank you thank how, you so much how is that going for you uh, alhamdulillah tunashukuru mm-hmm. wa tumefikia pia Nairobi pale tuko mm-hmm. Chaka Road Mall mm-hmm. uh, Halingam yeah. uh, alhamdulillah haikuwa rahisi okay. lakini pia tunashukuru kwa wateja wetu ambao wako kama Eldoret no. wako Kisumu wako Mandera mm. wako Wajia wako Garissa wanapitia pale Nairobi ili kupata kipimo sahihi yeah. kulingana na mwili wao na kupata kufili ile quality si kama mtu kununua online yeah. ananunua kitu na kutumania pesa na hajui ananunua quality gani yes na. and i believe that was a very good idea for you to branch in Nairobi na. because uh, coming to think of it Nairobi ni pale ambapo mavazi kama haya na. yani ni ngumu kupata sisi watu wa Mombasa hii ni culture yetu lakini naweza kukuambia kitu kimoja na. alhamdulillah tunashukuru na. kuwa hii Mombasa ndio mama na itazidi kuwa baki mama yes. kwa sababu alhamdulillah hata sales tunazofanya Mombasa tunashukuru uh. ni bora kuliko Nairobi Alright. alhamdulillah so mbali na kuwa tumeweka branch yetu Nairobi ni kama customer satisfaction mm-hmm. ili wapate kufeel ama wapate ile quality ambao walikuwa hawajaipata yeah. lakini alhamdulillah Mombasa itazidi kubaki kuwa Mombasa na alhamdulillah Mombasa tunafanya vizuri zaidi. Tunafanya vizuri no. zaidi. Lakini pia pale Nairobi if you're watching this from Nairobi, no. we head to Kilimani pale Chaka. Chaka Road Mall. Eh, no. Unipate ile kazi yako and everything. How long have you been in the business? Uh, sahi tunatimiza miaka minne. Masha Allah. Yes. Mm-hmm. Alhamdulillah. Uh, miaka mitatu na nusu tumekuwa Mombasa yes. na sahi nusu ya mwaka tumekuwa Nairobi. Okay. Na. That is nice. I see very nice stuff. Alafu naona vitu tofauti. Na. How much um, uh, do the prices the range? Ama prices huwa ziko kama price kama? price pia inatofautiana. Okay. Kulingana yeah. na material, na. kulingana na quality, kulingana na stitching ya ile model. Right. Sasa inakuwa mtu akifika hapa sisi tunamuonesha zile sample ambazo tuko nazo no. katika sheria ya product zetu ni kila product ni piece moja moja right. so you saying lakini hizi prices zina range no. so nataka unipatie ile range yako from your lowest to your no. price. sasa unajua price pia kulingana na time hii mm-hmm. inaweza kukwambia price time hii ni tofauti sure. after one week dola ikashoot price inabadilika kama so kama sahi mm-hmm. tunapata kanzo zile za mikono mifupi kuanzia 1500 no. mpaka 1600 Unapata kazo za mikono mirefu zinaanzia kama 1500 mpaka 1012. Masha. Kuna kazo ambayo ina range mpaka 12000. Yes. Lakini unasema kazo yenyewe wewe mwenyewe utafurahi. Yes, kwa sa- yes, kwa sababu yeah. unapata kazo yenyewe ukiinunua mm. inakuwa ni kazo perfect kwenye kwenye kifua, kazo perfect kwenye shingo, mikono, kila kitu inakuwa made to measure kwa bodi yako. Right, Naam. Naona pia si kanzu una deal nazo peke yake kuna vikoi hapa. Naam, kuna maudi. Pale kuna udi. Naam. Um, na prices za ile udi zina range gapi? Eh price za udi zinaanzia 2000 kwenda juu. Okay. Sasa inategemea kulingana na wewe choice yako mwenyewe. Okay. Yes, unakuja hapa tunakutestia ile varieties no. ambazo tunakuwa nazo, alafu we mwenyewe unachagua. Naam. No. Recently you also worked with the governor? Yes, yes. How was that for you? Alhamdulillah, tuwashukuru serikali ya county na serikali kuu. Alhamdulillah katika huu muda mchache ambao tumekuwa katika hii business mm-hmm tumewahi kuvalisha watu mashuhuri mashuhuri na, na alhamdulillah tunashukuru kuwa bana sisi tunavalisha watu aina tofauti tofauti yeah. mtu anakuwa anaanza maisha anataka kuoa tunamvalisha na watu katika wako na position kubwa kubwa pia tumewavalisha no. kama for example let's say kama governor wa Mombasa eh, kama uh, 
eh, CS uh, Adam Duale honorable yeah. uh, kama rais wa Jamhuri ya Kenya yeah. William Samoe Ruto alhamdulillah tunashukuru sana watu wamelipokea vizuri mm, yeah. na sisi tunasema kwa mafanzo wetu shukran sana kwa kulipokea ili jambo na tutatarajia kufanya vizuri zaidi na, na. okay mashallah um, roughly in a day unasema wadi wadiweza wadi na clients wanga maybe in just Kuse, a normal day kusema kweli biashara zetu ni za msimu biashara zetu kama wakati Ramadhani utapata unauza siku zingine unapata sisi alhamdulillah tumebobea sana na katika maharusi yeah. hapo kwenye maharusi ndo kidogo inatusaidia sisi yeah. lakini biashara zote sahi ukiangalia biashara ziko hivyo na hivyo lakini alhamdulillah kuwa tuna meet expense zetu ma rent yetu tunalipa mishahara tunalipa on time yeah. alhamdulillah siku yote unachopata unafaushukuru Kabisa. na hata kama hujapata wewe zingatia zile siku ambazo unapata naam Okay. Um before I forget, Pia, Naam. you deal with the grooms a lot. Pia, uh, naona hiyo kwenye Instagram yako. Naam. Naam. Doing so well kila mtu anakuongelelea everyone to have uh, their kids. Naam. 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 Kazi zao kuvalishwa hapa. Naam. So how much does um kufunga kilemba ili bwana harusi kumbalisha ile vazi lake la nikaa na cost kama bwana harusi mwanzo akifika hapa anapata kuona zile sample ambazo anazotaka kuvaa. Naam. Sasa inategemea ile yeye sample ambazo anataka kuvaa. Hii inaenda kama design ya mtu akitaka stage, stage yake ya harusi. Mm -hmm. Inategemea kulingana na yeye mwenyewe anataka design gani. Huwa akikuja hapa tunamuonesha zile some pictures ambazo tumefanya na kila bwana harusi wangu. Mm -hmm. Napenda atokezee kwa muonekano tofauti, kwa kilemba tofauti, kwa joho tofauti so that yule mtu anaokuja amshinde yule mwenzake ambao alotoka. Na mwingine atakayekuja amshinde yule mwenzake ambao tumemfanyia so, naam. Unasema prices in a range so mtu akitaka kujua maybe afike pile DM na. follow you on Instagram. Naam. At kamis dot mombasa kamis to mombasa ama kamis to nairobi. All right. Na. So winding up any advice you'd like to give to youths out there ambao wako interested kuanza biashara kama hii ama biashara yoyote ile nyingine. Ah uh, mimi naweza sema kwa my youth kuna jambo ambalo we uko nalo watu wengine hawana na hilo huwezi kulijua ni mpaka utoke ulifanye lile jambo ambalo support zetu zinakuwa chache maybe kwa familia ama kwa jamii lakini kuna yule kijana ambao alokaa barazani ako na jambo ambalo mimi sina ama mwingine hana So mimi pia kwa mayuth nasema mimi natarajia kujifunza mengi kutoka kwa kuewe Fanya bidi na utafika pale mahali ambapo watakufika Fanya bidi Alright, no. okay that's nice, that's a good advice no. Maybe as uh, we finish this, we're going no. to play a game okay. As usually this show, uh -huh. we need to drop it okay. uh -huh. So we're going to start with the what I'll ask you game, yeah? uh -huh. you're not supposed to think about it Because these are questions that are first hand uh -huh. uh -huh. And uh -huh. Lisa, what is your favorite meal and why? Uh, mimi napenda pilau. Why? Uh, ndo wali ambao na upenda. Na pia pilau wenyewe sipendi iwe kavu. Mm. Napenda iwe kidogo wenyewe anasema kama mashendea. Uh -huh. Yes, ambao yeah. ni kitu tofauti na watu wengine. Okay. Sipendi hati wali hati uwe mkavu kabisa moja moja, yes. Okay, okay. Yes. Who's your model? Uh, Aha. Mm -hmm. Mimi naweza sema role model wangu ni Rashid Abdalla na Lulu Hassan. Oh, okay, kwa sababu wao wametoka kutoka kwa humble beginning, wamefanya mpaka mashallah wamefikia pamoja wao as a family. Mm -hmm. Mbali na kuwa kazini wako pamoja na mashallah mpaka sasa hii mimi nawaambia jikazeni na inshallah Mwenyezi Mungu atawajali kila la kheri. Alright, what yes. are the three things you can't live without? Mm -hmm. my family okay. uh, kazi definitely yeah yeah and uh, dini anyway okay. dini inakuja mwanzo you're forgetting about the most essential uh -huh. stuff what What's are the that? things you can't leave a Perfume, uh -huh. kikoi Yeah, 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 yeah Lakini hizi, hizi nazo kwambia Perfume zina kuja baadai yeah. Mwazo ni dini uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, Ya pili ni Alright, okay, yeah. let's say What are the three essential things that you can live with? Uh -huh. yeah. Definitely mavazi mazuri kwa muonekano mzuri so that mimi katika kazi yangu niwe na muonekano mzuri kwa jamii. Naam. Naam. 
kunukia vizuri. Okay. Naam. Na kuishi kwenye mahali pazuri. Right. Naam. What is your favorite perfume? Uh, ni kuna nyingi kusema kweli kwa sababu favorite the ultimate favorite. Eh uh, mimi naweza sema ni supremacy silver yeah. Supremacy. Naam. Bye. By Afnan. By Afnan. Yeah. All right, girls, maybe you should go check that. Do you have that here? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to see one of his favorite stuff. Yeah, this is my favorite one. This is someone who is very. Yani he ni mamboya kia mebobe akachika jambo hivyo. Naam. Ujio kwa na kuita fu. Naam. Mhm. All right. And your favorite press. This is the last question. What is your favorite press in life? Mimi sema tu ni kila mtu kutia bidii katika maisha yake na pale mahali ambapo unataka kufika no. utafika tu it's just a matter of time okay, so pale mahali unakotaka kufika utafika yeah. thank you so much welcome uh, asante sana al shifa tv yeah. Yeah, ni mashukuru sana kunichagua mimi katika moja wenu wa interview yeah. na Mwenyezi Mungu atawabariki yeah amen okay sisi pia tumefurahi kuwa na wewe and you hope to work with you in the future yeah? inshallah All right. inshallah all right guys this marks the end of our time here at Kamis uh, Thobe experience na kama unavona tumetoka na good bag yetu hapa make sure to come check it out iko pale um, off of Makadara street until next time tupatane tena next Thursday kipindi ni kile kile how i got here with nurse student thanks for watching how i got here with nurse